Hello everyone, um, if you like to re- watch podcasts, me and my friend, Albie at Crafting Bro Studios, now have a podcast on Spotify. Link in the description. Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Prime and welcome back to another reaction video. And today, I'm going to be reacting to Nuke's Top 5 again. And I really am enjoying his videos and reacting to these paranormal things. Like, I really do love uh, reaction videos and doing recording reaction videos as well. So, let's get straight into the video. Right, let's begin. Come on in. Five months ago, 19-year-old Dylan Rounds mysteriously disappeared from his farm in Lucen, Utah. Search parties have scoured the area, but Dylan has never been found. Fucking out. We begin tonight with a local family very concerned about their missing son, who has seemingly vanished from his farm. His parents say he was excited to start farming in northwest Utah, but after he planted his crop, he went missing, and now they suspect foul play. This land in Lucin, Man. Utah, might not look like much, but to 19-year-old Dylan Rounds, it was everything. I'm convinced. I that it's foul play. Every vehicle he has, a retractor, everything is accounted for and in place. If you know anything about Dylan's disappearance, his family is begging you to call police. Uh, Lance Kelly from the YouTube channel Earthworm Infertainment decided to join the search for Dylan Rounds, investigating the many abandoned mines and caves in the countryside nearby. Uh, On this particular exploration, Lance finds an entrance to the collapsed Bald Eagle Mine. Now, it should be noted that the old collapsed mine is said to be haunted. Is but it now? Nevertheless, Lance heads into the small entrance to investigate. What happens next is downright chilling. Is it now? All right. A lot of cold air coming out of this one. So it's probably pretty deep. Anyone in here? That's definitely don't look safe. I heard Did that. Did you hear it? Yes. As Lance enters the collapse mine, he asks, Anyone in here? To which someone or something seems to reply, Come on in. Now the sound is a bit difficult to hear as Lance's feet are crunching against the loose gravel on the floor of the mine. But I did my best to isolate and enhance the creepy reply. Okay. Listen again carefully. Anyone in here? Come on in. Fucking hell. As Lance treks further into the abandoned mine, it soon becomes clear that the passage is too small for anyone to be hiding inside. So just who or what could this voice be? You can follow the continuing search for Dylan Rounds over on the YouTube channel, Earthworm in I'm sad he went missing. Gotta see it to believe it. Damn right. Gotta see it to believe it. user Chuby Gooby recently moved into her new home in Reno, Nevada, along with her husband and their two cats. Okay. Not long after moving in, the cats started to behave in a very odd way. Well, our surveillance camera caught this, and I'm a little bit nerved about everything that happens. What? And the fact that the camera just stopped at the end of this. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do about this. Um, just watch and let me know what you think at the end. <laughs> My cat never comes up to me like this unless she wants food. So that might have been <laughs> what it was, but she was acting particularly weird. Also the blurry bit. Me, girl. Why are you looking at me like that? Wow. Our cat just walked away from me and I felt like she knew it was coming. But what? Oh shit. What the f is 
That ghost not dead off. Or did it just roll off? Hello? Oh! As Chubby Gooby is relaxing with a drink and watching TV, her cat approaches her as if alarmed. But then soon the kitty inexplicably just jumps away. Just then, a flower pot falls from the fireplace as if pushed, and even more strangely, the CCTV camera suddenly drops from its mount on the wall. Late another night, Chubby Gooby and her husband are fast asleep in bed, but something in their house is awake and very active. Okay. Something terrifying. Mm. When Nuke says terrifying. Oh shit. You're gonna slam. I'll just be quiet, okay. I was fully asleep at this point and I was trying to wake up. Trying to wake up? It's like going dun dun dun, da 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 da. Like it's slowly approaching the bed. It's like I'm. Oh, that's gonna fall off. Clothes hamper slides across the floor toward the sleeping couple as a book seems to be yanked from the shelf by an unseen force. The couple awakes confused and in a panic from the sound, but they only realize what happened later after watching their security video. Even after the events in the house, Chuby's husband is still skeptical. But okay. one night, Chuby hears creepy sounds coming from the basement. After a long discussion, she convinces her reluctant husband to head down to the basement with her to investigate. It did not go well. Okay. I can't believe you have me recording this. Well, what do you know? What do I know? You don't know. What if something happens? We don't have any explanation for it. Like I said last time, I'm going to record everything. You don't record anymore. Can you explain that? Explain I'm tired. Yeah, exactly. This is the 15th freaking night in a row. Things happen. I think you're exaggerating. Look, it's a basement. That's what? It's broken frame? Yeah, that happens. Oh, what the f Now are you skeptical? Okay, we need to go. 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 Go where? Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Jeep, go. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Now are you fucking skeptical? Chubby Gooby's skeptical husband is now convinced as random things start to fall and eerily move across the basement floor right in front of his eyes. The terrified couple runs right back upstairs. So could it be that the couple's new home is haunted? Let me yeah, know. Yeah, I'm convinced. The man in black. The man the in black. The creepy video is a bit of a mystery as it was shared to the internet without a source. So the story goes that the video was filmed by a young tourist in Europe while exploring an abandoned old monastery. Okay. And without even knowing, he captures something truly chilling. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, God, I saw that. A figure dressed in what looks like a long black mutt's robe appears briefly in the doorway before just disappearing into thin air. The tourist didn't even realize what he had just filmed and only discovered the figure when re-watching his footage later. But with no definitive source, is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I think it might you be real. Decide. Cause obviously if I you like- found a great ghost video online or recorded one yourself, please send it my way at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Uninvited. Nick Perry from Roseville, California says that he witnessed a dark shadow figure while driving on the allegedly very haunted Dyers Lane Road two years ago. Nick is convinced that this dark sinister thing attached itself to him and even followed him home. He says that since that night he has experienced terrifying paranormal activity in his home. Now, fearing that his family and friends might think he's lying or maybe just went right off the deep end, Nick says that he never told anyone about the strange incidents in his house. But he claims that the paranormal activity in his home has become more frequent and more intense. So he has decided to record the incidents on his new YouTube channel called The Hooker. The Hooker. N no idea why that name. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway. Late one night, Nick starts to hear something and grabs his camera. What he catches on video is truly bizarre. Bizarre? Um, so... I thought Fawn and David uh, were back. I just got out of the shower. And I heard... Well, it sounded like a door opening and closing, but... Somebody's f***ing here. Well, they know. Okay. And my cat is just staring at the f***ing door. I know, messy room, I know. It's my sister's room. It creeps me out. There's somebody sitting there. It's the owner. over there at the f***ing door. That is fucking creepy as fuck. Nick becomes increasingly more anxious as the unexplained activity soon starts to get more intense. Dog. Well, I didn't see anything. Why every time I'm fucking alone, dude? Unnerved by what he's experiencing, Nick's own dog scares him as he catches the window blinds moving on their own. Nick has no idea that things are about to take an even more terrifying turn. Okay. One night, Nick is taking a cute little video of his cat when he captures something downright chilling. Okay. Wow. What? What are you going in there? This is f***ing wild. A bang. Oh my god. What the f*** is that, dude? Nick hears a bang and as he exits the bathroom to investigate, a small dark figure can be seen in the bathtub as his camera pans by. But Nick doesn't even notice it until he checks his camera footage later. Nick now becomes determined to try to catch video of the odd shadow figure again, 
so he sets up more cameras to record around his house while he is away. Late one evening, he returns to find this. What is that? What? Oh, fuck! Someone or something can be seen walking around the living room, but nobody's home. So just who or what is this? Nick believes that the dark figure he saw years ago on Dyer's Lane followed him home and is still haunting his house. But what do you think is going on here? You can follow Nick's continuing search for answers over on his YouTube channel, The Hooker. The Outback Skinwalker. This next creepy video was posted to Reddit by Australian Reddit user Hasbeen42 with the caption, quote, my friend recorded a potential skinwalker. Skin so Reddit user Hasbeen42's friends are out in the woods of Australia late one night when they encounter this. Encounter what? You're here hearing weird noises in the forest. What the f oh, 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 what the f what the f the friends have no idea what they captured on camera and has been 42 took it upon himself to post the video to Reddit in search of answers. The friends believe they might have captured a skinwalker, but what do you think this could be? Is it a skinwalker or just some strange Aussie critter? Maybe it's just an animal, I don't know. That was pretty fast though. The most haunted hotel in Texas. The Minger Hotel was built in 1859 in San Antonio, Texas. It was constructed on the old oh. battlegrounds of the Texas Battle of the Alamo. Okay. Then years later, during the Civil War, the hotel was converted into a hospital for wounded and dying soldiers. Mm -hmm. With a history like that, it's not surprising that the hotel is considered to be a hotbed for paranormal activity. Over the years, the hotel staff members and guests have had countless strange supernatural encounters. Back in 2009, hotel guest Ricky Garcia had a first-hand experience with one of the hotel spirits when he was recording footage of the beautiful, historic interior. I see it. Can you see it? Translucent figure. A translucent figure about the size of a child can be seen walking on the other side of the main hotel hall on the second floor. And Ricky isn't the only one who captured a ghost on camera on the Minger Hotel's second floor walkway. Okay. Four years later in 2013, hotel guest Felicia Powell captured this photo of the same area on the second floor of the Minger Hotel. In the photo, a child guest at the hotel dressed in red can be seen walking along but no one knows who or what is walking behind her. So is it true that the Minger Hotel is haunted? And just what walks the stair landing on the second floor? Okay. Let me know what you think. The, the last stop. The last Popular stop. Popular Korean YouTuber Dosha from the paranormal YouTube channel Dosha Michael yeah. sets out to explore a creepy abandoned bus company located somewhere in South Korea. Now, not much is known about the mysterious bus company or why it was left abandoned, but Dosha believes that the location is haunted by the spirit of an old man that used to live inside one of the only remaining buses on the property. 
In an attempt to capture the ghost of the old man, the YouTuber sets up a GoPro camera to record the bus while he explores the rest of the enormous site. Looks like the mattress is in there, though. This is when things start to get really creepy. Okay. A loud bang can be heard startling Doshi as he's setting up his GoPro. Now, a bit freaked out, he eventually leaves to explore the building. But after a few hours, he doesn't really find or experience anything in the abandoned bus depot. So he grabs a static camera and just heads home. But when Dosha looks back at his captured footage of the bus, he's shocked when he realizes what his static GoPro camera recorded. What did he catch her? What? What the? Something can be seen walking past the bus and out of frame. Dosha has no idea who or what this could be. So... He returns the next day and leaves the GoPro in the exact same spot. What his camera captures that night is absolutely chilling. What the hell? Now he's preparing the bus. Let's go for a little drive. Sky life. Yeah, totally not creepy. Yay! What? What? Oh, okay. I think I see it. Oh, uh, some sort of figure moving. First, something can be seen moving around inside the bus. Then a little later, a dark mist-like figure can be seen looking out the window on the second floor before moving back out of sight. So could it be that Dosha captured the ghost of the old man who used to live inside the bus? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire video and many more spooky ghost investigations with English subtitles over on the YouTube channel, Dosha Michael. Mm. Creature or compression? Pakistani Reddit user Phantom881999 says that late one night, the strange CCTV footage was captured just outside his dad's workplace. Okay. The hell? Is oh my god. What is that? It looks weird to be a human. Now the Redditor definitely admits that this could simply be a strange glitch in the compression on the camera. But why does one of these two people look like they are hunched over and walking on four legs? So is this weird compression or a weird creature? Let me know what you think. Creature, not creeper. A creature. little evil. Popular ghost hunter Ehab Kasmia sets out to investigate a completely abandoned neighborhood on a mountain in Jordan. Now nobody knows exactly why dozens of homes were deserted in an otherwise thriving city, but locals claim that the neighborhood was plagued by a sinister djinn taking the form of a human child. As Ehab goes from home to home, he doesn't really find much and only hears a few strange noises. Mm. But that changes as he gets higher and higher up the mountainside. Okay. In one of the empty, dilapidated homes, this happens. 
what happens. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق Did you see it? No. Yehab doesn't notice when a small childlike hand moves out of sight right oh my behind God. the doorway. Clueless as to what just happened, Ehab leaves the home and heads to the next house even higher up the mountain. As he explores, something happens that shocks him to his core. I didn't see anything. I just heard creepy music. I didn't see anything. Was it out the window or something? When Eab switches to the selfie mode on his phone, he is shocked when he sees the face of a child watching him from outside the window. He races outside, but there's no one there. Now there is no one around this oh, mountain shit. for miles, and there certainly now I see shouldn't it. be a child out alone in this dangerous abandoned neighborhood. So Ehab is now starting to believe that the local legends are true. He thinks the mountain might just really be haunted by a malevolent entity that takes the form of a child. But as always, you decide. Just pulling your leg. This next video has been circulating the internet, but unfortunately, no one seems to know the original source. So, really? somewhere in Asia, a child is innocently crawling across the floor. Then yeah. this happens. Oh my god! The light in the room suddenly flashes off just as the crawling child's legs seem to be pulled by something that we can't see. Incredibly upset by the occurrence, the crying child charges forward wildly as if to try to escape whatever might be after him. Or is he being pushed? It's kind of hard to tell. It is a bit no hard to tell. The video, I Poor guess child. We'll never know. Poor child. <laughs> Look what he's reacting. Man, that breaks my heart to see that. So now, I have to say, that was quite a spooky video. Like, that child being pushed or pulled, that was heartbreaking. Like, why can't the lo ghosts just leave children alone? Jesus Christ, that's nasty. But, I have to say, that then hearing about that 19-year-old boy that went missing, geez, that's not good. Well, anyone going missing isn't good, but, you know, it's creepy how it just randomly just vanishes without a trace and then obviously uh with uh with that bus like the old like in uh south korea that that supposedly old man that lived in the bus like there were mattresses in the bus it looks like but then like uh obviously you know we saw the fact that there was someone in that bus especially uh, i definitely but like i said i believe in this ghost stuff so I guess that'll leave it here. So this is Brandon Prime signing out saying, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And then um, if you want to stay notified for when I next upload, don't forget to click that little bell. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button and stay primed everyone and see you in the next video. Bye.